1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. He also killed native families too. So welcome back today, guys. We are talking about uh, why you should not celebrate Christopher Columbus Day. It is a terrible, terrible idea. It may seem like a super innocent uh, government holiday, but it's a lie. So besides the obvious reasons of why we should not celebrate Christopher Columbus Day, like the fact that he was a murderer, rapist, and pretty much stole everything and anything he got his hands on, I thought I'd shed some light on some other factors of why we should not celebrate this man on this day. Okay, so let's get into it. Christopher Columbus started uh, his, you know, voyaging by going to the Bahamas, and he actually ended up going back to the Bahamas about three more times after his first visit. And then he also went to Cuba along the way of one of those um, voyages. And then that's how he became interested in uh, trying to go to this bigger land, which we now know is uh, native, uh, North America. But the biggest question for centuries has been, did Christopher Columbus really discover America like everyone has been taught? The answer is no, absolutely not. There were millions of people here before Christopher Columbus even arrived. So studies have shown that ancestors of Native Americans came from Asia to North America over a massive land bridge formed during the last ice age more than 12,000 years ago. Yeah, that blows my mind that these people have been here literally, like, what, more than 12,000 years ago, and this guy, or, well, yeah, and this guy just, like, pretty much is like, I'm gonna come from here, and I discovered it, it's mine. No. The saddest part is, well, not the saddest part, but a big sad part is, he wasn't even the first European to visit Native America. As a matter of fact, someone by the name Leif Erikson and his father, Eric the Red, founded Greenland. Then their crew came um, and made the North Atlantic crossing to Newfoundland in 1000 AD. 492 years before Columbus even came to America his damn self. Yeah, you heard me. 492 years before Chris. And the list of famous voyagers does not stop with Eric the Red, uh, Eric the Red and his son, Leif Erikson, because apparently there are people that mm. visited before them. And even after, right before Christopher Columbus dis or discovered America, it was said that Chinese Admiral Zhang He sailed around the world about 70 years before Columbus and discovered America on the way. Ancient maps that were dug up and discovered support this theory. And like I said, before those uh, previous famous voyagers that I named, if you want to go all the way back, uh, the, remember the ancient Hebrews fled Israel after the Babylonian invasion? Well, in, um, in 600 BC, well, some believe a group of those um, ancient Hebrews that fled made it to America themselves. Another thing is uh, there are artifacts found by Chesapeake Bay dated back to 22,000 BC and um, may have been the Solutrian, Solutrian people from, and they traveled from Europe to North America themselves. 
My biggest question is, why aren't these other Voyagers being celebrated? And what happened to the history of them being there? And, like, why wasn't it brought up then or in the past? Like, I feel like it's, like, I don't know when this came out or when um, all this was found. Because it, it seemed like at least it, it may have been known a while ago, all of this truth. But it, I feel like, you know, people in my community and even younger people um, and people who, you know, may not even think about history and stuff like that maybe didn't know this. So, yeah, it's, it just blows my mind, all of these facts. So although it is a complicated truth uh, when it comes to America's discovery, but we do know that it was absolutely a hundred percent positively not Christopher Columbus definitely should not be celebrating him he is irrelevant he was a basic man that loved to do voyages and travel to sea and he you know went to North America and must have saw these you know he was like all the other horrifying Europeans that came over and destroyed a bunch of stuff and, and destroyed families and pretty much got like greedy and I guess just wanted to take the credit for a piece of land that he really felt like he was entitled to and I mean I don't know what else to say except if you still celebrate this that's your decision but I just thought that you should know the truth behind it. So that wraps it up. I hope this video was extremely informative to you. Um, I can go into more depth in another video about the more murdery, stealing, rapey information if you want that. Um, but yes, this man was a horrible person and he stole this land and tried to claim it as his, even though he knows that, or maybe he may have not known, that there were plenty of other people who have been to North America, who lived in North America before he even was thought of or existed. So, I don't know, y'all. Let me know what you think in the comment uh, box below. Don't forget to subscribe and share and hit that bell so you get all of my, you know, all my notifications. And I hope you guys have a beautiful day. And an alternative that you could do instead of celebrating Christopher Columbus Day is you can grab some pumpkins and do some fall art for in honor of the um, natives who harvested their crops. You can, you know, do Indian corn, um, paint, you know, some corn and do some art like that. Anything festive in that kind of way. So I love you guys. Have a beautiful day. Bye.